Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another video and today I was rather struck by an article I saw in Dezine and it was all about AI and how Zaha Hadid Architects are using this in most of their projects. So I kind of thought to myself I'd give it a go and see what it would come up with if I tried to create a building that looked like a Zaha Hadid project. So this is a live little uh, video of me doing exactly that. This is the very first time I've used Stable Diffusion. So I'm just gonna go onto my browser. I've got Stable Diffusion already available. And let's take a look. I've got my prompt in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go for museum building designed in contemporary style of Zaha Hadid. And let's just click generate image. So as I say, I'm pretty mystified to see how this process is. It's the very first time I've actually tried Stable Diffusion. If you check out my channel, you know that I've already produced some videos on um, Mid Journey before. Wow, okay, so this is really quite interesting. Um, it's definitely come up some sort of Zaha Hadid type context, and I can kind of scroll through some of these facades and interiors. You've got that kind of very typical organic form that Zaha is well known for, and it, you know, it definitely does look like a Zaha Hadid building. So yeah, I like this one, I think is my favorite one. So what I'm gonna do is download this image and let's have another look at this. Uh, let's click okay. And just download some of these images and let's look at this in a bit more detail as well. everybody if you haven't yet tried stable diffusion um, I would definitely recommend having a look um, it looks really easy to get started basically you can read a bit of information about the um, prompts and so on that will help you kind of get a bit more detailed so you know it's definitely something you need to play around with but let's just go ahead for fun and we'll type in a new building let's go for the residential tower Zahad in the desert let's give it a bit more context and see what it comes up with here Okay, so let's go for generate image. And you can see it's processing really quite rapidly. Um, definitely, it's pretty zippy. Let's see what it comes up with. And within literally 10 seconds, oh my goodness, we've got some interesting concepts. So we've definitely got the correct type of context here. We've got the desert being shown. Let me just blow this up a bit for you if I can. Just blow that up on my screen. Um, we've got this kind of you know, trademark Zaha organic form of architecture, although, you know, I'm really kind of not sure how this would work. I'm saying that sometimes I do think that about some other Zaha buildings, they're amazing. Um, and structurally, I really don't know quite how they're made to work. Now, this is really interesting. I like the kind of balconies that wrap around this particular one. Um, a bit more kind of uh, different top context from what I was imagining. And, you know, just some of these concepts, this is the beauty of AI generated architectural imagery, in my view. It's really just a kind of crazy sandbox for your imagination to run wild, just to try some ideas out. And it might spark something that you could then develop into something that actually is a meaningful piece of architecture. But, you know, for practices like Zaha, I can totally see why they would like using AI generated uh, images at the beginning just to produce lots of concepts. And it's certainly very quick and very cheap to do. And then we can sort of look at developing those. But yeah, definitely, if you're not in, into, uh, you know, this kind of architecture, I understand. But it's something that is super good fun to play with. Let's just try a different context. Let's go for uh, office tower in the style of Zahard in a jungle. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it's just super fun just to let your imagination run wild. Have a little play. And yeah, you know, it's come up with some really quite radically different concepts to the last one. So um, I'm looking forward to trying this out a bit more in my workflow, but really it's just a bit of fun for me at this stage. Okay, so if you haven't seen this particular article and you're interested, here it is on screen. And you can see there's some really cool images uh, associated with the article. But basically, you know, I was just intrigued to hear a bit more about how Z ZHA is using most projects developing with AI-generated images, according to Patrick Schumacher. 
Now, I don't know what you guys think about this, but this is very interesting and, you know, it's something that I've thought about incorporating in my workflow. But, you know, I think it really kind of lends itself to this style of architecture, AI, and I've actually not been able to produce anything that my clients would accept as real architecture so far. So I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are, if you've tried it, um, and if it's actually kind of created something useful for you. So if you do want to, just click onto uh, the project here, and as I say, here is the article in full, and you know, here's some of the kind of concepts that were developed. So one thing is for sure, AI generated image generation and architecture is certain to be something that we're all gonna be talking about more in the future. And let's have a bit of a debate about this. Um, please pop some comments on the channel. I'd be fascinated to hear what your thoughts are. Um, is something you've tried or are you keen to look into? Definitely something I'll be keeping an eye on. Um, I'm not yet sure how this is gonna play out in my own different workflow and projects, but it's something I'm quite excited by to see where it develops. So it's just a short video today on this particular topic and I hope you enjoy other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.